What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're checking out a brand new game that gets launched on March 2nd. One military camp. You get to build your own military base. Train recruits. Send them on missions. Spend your lands. Or attack somebody else's. It's a wild game. There's also a sandbox mode. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you want to see more. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Oh my goodness. Monster. I don't know, it's just kind of hot. Oh no! Bless you. So wait, we're the last we're the last part of the land that has been taken over? Oh jeez. Recruit number one. Let me guess our grandfather uh died and he left us a military base. Stop right there. Hands up and turn around very slowly. Sim simmer down there. Whoa. Oh, so you were the replacement they sent from the officer academy. Looking like that? I'll have to make do. If high command considers you worthy. And so do I. There's no other option. Yep. Yep. I'll be ready to work. I'm Sergeant John Hawkins. My friends call me Sergeant Hawkins. My mom calls me Sergeant Hawkins. I'm going to call you Boy Scout Leader. What's going on, guys? And from now on, I'm Sergeant Hawkins to you. I'm, I'm responsible for the, this facility. Yeah. Uh, one military camp. Word. Huh. My mission is to stop that damned Draken, the criminal. He has ruled over to other territories with an iron fist for over a year now. Just uh, that was all over one year. I'll tell you what, it's efficient. It's efficient. It's not bad. It's efficient. We are all the we are all the stands in the way of his evil plans of conquest. My best soldiers and also my worst ones are being held captive in his territory. We weren't able to react in time. What do you want me to do about it? If only we'd had General Diana Bird Whistle with us. Things would have turned out differently. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Of course. Without her tutelage. Hey. Her leadership. But you are here to change that. Keep your ears open. Look forward. Chest out. This camp is all we have left. It may look dilapidated now, but that's because you haven't started working yet. I, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to start working. You're not allowing me. You're talking to me. You. Our chance to stop dragging is in every rusty piece of iron, in every blade of grass, in every wooden log. We need to do some fine tuning. Follow me inside and I'll bring you up to date. We'll, we'll talk about your haircut later. Hey. Let's, let's, not, let's not talk anymore, March. Hut. Hut. I'm going to be honest with you. This camp is a complete disaster. <laughs> sorry, for be, sorry for being rude earlier, but uh, yeah, you're right. This place is trash. Uh, nothing works. Nothing is repaired. And more than anything, we need people. We had to completely abandon it. But then... We had to take it back when Dragon seized all of our other positions. That's why we've gone unnoticed at this time. Also, we're unnoticed because this is a secret military base. Ooh. Don't feel free to explore the camp. Don't hurt yourself. Once you're familiar with the basic controls, select the barracks. Don't tell me what to do. All right. Do you want to play the tutorial? Yes. All right. If you have any doubts to the next step of the tutorial. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is our place. Oof. Good God. Oh my God. All right, well, select the barracks. The barracks is where our troops have, uh, have a chance to rest. It's not all about the work. You have to keep your mind and body healthy. Each barracks can hold up to seven cadets. Keep, you, keep that in mind when things get a little crowded. As you can see, our new barracks has no power. Like I said, we are running on fumes. Without light, our men and women will find out what the darkest hours really like. We need to fix that. No, I said we keep them in the dark. They can train. Build an electric generator to supply the power of the whole thing. Okay, okay, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and build it. Ah, look everyone, a tutorial. Look at all these different buildings that you can build, dude. This is just in the... Oh. <laughs> this is just in the energy section. No, 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 it's the whole thing. Scroll on down. And all sorts of doodads. Unlockables. Insatiables. Things to decorate. Oh. Beds. Barracks. Private house. Premium house. Helioport. Okay. 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 The first things first. Electric generator. Oh, so this this does other thing, huh? What do you mean wrong place? Oh, because I have to do it. I'll just do whatever you want to do. A well lived barracks just the way I like it. Place is lit. Now the newbies will have a place to take a breather after training. Great, now we have a place to sleep. Now let's talk about the chow. How about we talk about cleaning this place up first, bud? It's filthy. Find the canteen and click on it. That my waste. Alright, let's say we got ourselves the mess hall, huh? <laughs> Army chow, you never forgot that taste. Ugh. Back in my day, they even used to toss in the old tire, an old tire or two. This is gourmet food by comparison. Let's use this old canteen. But to do that, we should connect it to the rest of the camp. Build a road to the canteen. I say, I say, I say. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got roads, row ads. Row ads is a funny word. Now, well done. oh, hey, <laughs> thank you. Now we have to connect to the power grid. Build some electrical poles. Oh, so we got a little electrical pole system that's going on here. Okay. So we got some energy. Everything's locked until it is not, it is no longer locked. Put it in the corner here. Oh, so we have to connect it to that. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, duh. Otherwise, it's just going to be <laughs> wireless energy. Let yeah. there be light. Starting to work. Good. Now we have to hire a new cook, preferably someone who doesn't add chunks of tires to the soup. Jeez, got to stop with the tires, bud. It's not seasoning, okay? Bad for you. The buildings like the canteen require us to hire some people. Qualified personnel. Workers can sleep in the barracks with the troops. The morale will be higher if you build them a private house. Oh, so the private citizen wants a private house, huh? Tell them to get in the... Get them to get in the barracks like we all do. If we want them to do their jobs well, we uh, have to make sure that they have the best accommodations. All right, all right. Luckily, I had a private house built for this uh, for our first cook. But if you want to bring in more employees, you'll have to build more. Remember that I put up some advertisements to bring in new candidates. The first one should be here any minute now. Let's see if anyone uh, came who can help us. I'm sure, they could all help us. What's going on with you, buddy? Hansel Popowski. I don't know does have the colors of the enemy on there. His favorite things, like Dr. Disrespect, only with shaves. The shaves and the and no mustache. It's clean cut. It's got to be. You have skills, which are uh, the basic abilities. On the other hand, they have traits, which show us their special talents. Pay close attention and hire only the best. This is almost like campus university, like a, or like a, a theme campus or theme Hospitals is like theme military base where you have to hire people and they all have a little stuff. The Posky guy isn't a bad cook. He says he makes an incredible cabbage soup. My favorite. Hey. Gross. There's no room for incompetence at this camp, so be careful about who you hire. You don't want any unpleasant surprises. Select Hansel Popovsky and hire him as a cook. What if I don't want to? What if what if I don't like his creds? The credench. Alright, so select. Look at this guy. I do like this. It's quite detailed. A perfectionist who always does the very best uh, in everything. He does. Does not excel in any discipline. Seems he'll need to train hard. He's got some strength, speed. He's fast, fast. Not very strong. Not very accurate. Not very intelligent. But man, he can make a fine, fine cabbage stew. Hey, hey, you win again. The kitchen. Oh my god. Maybe we'll like things. We maybe we will. I'm dying to taste the soup, but it's still early. First, we have to get the canteen ready. This building has been abandoned. Yeah, I know. It's pretty awful. Look at those floors. Discover the floors. This is the dirt. This is not a floor. This is the ground. There's a difference between floors and the ground, sir. Hey. We need to hire a maintenance worker to straighten all this out. Oh, the hell, that'll fix it. Always in good condition, huh? All right, all right. Warehouses and supplies. There are go-to guys. Mm. How about hiring a maintenance worker? Once we have that, just like the canteen info and request to be clean. Back in my day, we just used a toothbrush. Hey. 
<laughs> Dude, like how he shouts at you. Good old drill sergeants. Make sure that they get uh, get it sparkling clean. I want to see my reflection in those floors. Dude, it's not gonna. It's not gonna happen, my friend. Okay, so now we have to build a. Okay, so this is like the recruitment center. We have to get a maintenance center. All right. Just looking at some of the stuff that they're like pointing at me. <laughs> maintenance. Tell you what, we'll put maintenance right behind here. There we go. Now build a fully functional private house. Gotta do it. It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Got some tents. I don't know if I want to put them on the, directly on the crossroads. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put you right here. Right next to your job, sport. Iron maintenance worker. All right, now I can click on this guy and go, hey, hire. <laughs> Oh, look, he's got his hard hat on. He's ready to work. He's ready to go. Get to work. I want to see this camp squeaky clean. Start. Okay. So, 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 let's settle down here, big guy. Okay. Can't run our canteen if we don't have any food, can we? This is, this is correct. Quick, get some bags of MREs and call it a day. Supplies are essential for keeping the machinery running. We have to be careful and make sure that we always have a constant flow of resources. Our main supplies are fuel, food, medicine, ammo. Mm. Downside is that they are hard, hard for us to find. To get them, we'll have to talk to some suppliers. To the map. It's like it's a real dire situation over here. I feel like I'm playing Dynasty Warriors. Well, we're not. This is a country map. As you can see, Dragon has taken control of almost every region. Uh, a recalcitrant fool. So he just doesn't like authority. Or discipline. I don't know. It seems like he's pretty disciplined, bud. Seems like he's taking over over the, taking over a lot. To bring up your map, either press the country map icon at the bottom left of your screen or zoom out in camp view until the map appears. If you want to return to camp, press the country map icon again or zoom in on your map. Is uh, easy, isn't it? Yeah. Look closely. See all those little buildings? Some of them are resource suppliers. The problem is that most of them are in the areas controlled by Drake. All right, all right. As we complete missions, we will unlock new territories and gain access to the suppliers. Some have more competitive prices or greater production capacity. Keep an eye out for good uh, good deals. Always good deals. Uh, I'll keep my eye out. Anyway, let's go back to the camp. We need to talk about how to manage our supplies. Okay, good. Let's keep talking, talking, no more talking. Here we go. Damn, son. Look at how nasty this place is. We will need warehouses to manage our supplies. Warehouses allow us to store all the precious resources. Of course. You. Don't mix food with fuel, or we might have an unexpected accident. Better believe it. If you also have a place uh, them close to the buildings, they need them because of maintenance. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. warehouse is too far away, and they'll have to run a marathon just to get there. Build a first food warehouse near the canteen. I don't hear a please, but you're never going to hear a please from that guy. He's, just, he's, he's his own man. Food warehouse. Food warehouse, done. <laughs> a brand new warehouse. I, I, I know. Our maintenance staff will be in charge of distributing uh, supplies in the meantime. Let's contact our first supplier. If you look at the warehouse info panel, you can bring up the supplier list. If only, we only have one right now, but more will appear as we gain new territories. Check your map from time to time to compare suppliers in the unlocked territories. You can also contact them in your map. That's easier. Or by words, managing your supplies. Well, that's one of the keys to success. Yep. But enough chit chat. That's what I was just saying. Our house won't be worth a thing if we don't put something in it. Request our first food order. So pushy. All right, buy 460 gold. Oh, how, how many gold? How much gold do we have? That was tutorial. So, top bun. I dig it. I dig it. They're drop shipping top buns. Burgers, burgers galore. Our food services reserves are at optimal levels. Nice, but beware, nothing lasts forever. Our buildings will don't it'll last just fine. There's only two people on on on, on the site right now. You can order more supplies from the panel info panel for each other, the warehouse with supplier and the country map. Okay, so it's up to you. Be sure to never run out of supplies. I get it. I get it. Okay, so you want to build warehouses near like generators, especially for fuel. Hey, let's get to work. Gotcha. I'm so pushy. I gotta be so pushy, bro. All right, so we got a fuel warehouse, a fuel depot, depot, a depot, if you will. Let's click on that. Six hundred ninety-two gold. Now we got, we got to, we got to 
that would bring those prices. Just, just gas. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Get yourself some red crates and dance with me. Yeah. All right. What we got here? Sophia, medical knowledge. Ooh, she's hire another maintenance worker. She's going to be maintenance? Really? Really? Sophia. Bit of a loner who doesn't enjoy socializing with others. Oh, so maintenance is right up your right up your alley. Medical knowledge, experience with medical... Okay, defensive knowledge. Okay, so she's got a little medical knowledge. Yeah. Get to work. <laughs> It's starting to look like a real camp. We have no soldiers. I can I can feel the missiles coming as we speak. There's supplies, a place to eat and sleep. It's time to get to work. All right, let's start with the training buildings. Yeah, Our troops have to get through some tough training before we can pick a specialization. There are many different supplies, specializations from pilots to comms, uh, comms ever or even a spy. Nice, nice. Each specialization requires a different set of skills. That's why the first skills uh, training is important. As new recruits come in, we need to think very carefully about the training we give them. The specializations. So I have a feeling that we have build this main base, and then we have to build other bases in other areas as well. So this is going to be like the mega base. It's best to keep the barracks away from the entertainment areas so that our troops get some sleep at night. Yeah, yeah. If you need to clear ground, remember that you have a demolition tool. Nice. Let's get to work. Jesus. Talkie talkie. All right. Build a fully functioning intelligence training building. Training building? You got it. Intelligence training improves intelligence skills. So you what? Put that right there. Then what we're gonna do is I'm going to build a road, a dirt path, leading us to the promised land. Now we're gonna need some. Oh, oh, strength training. Right across the street from the intelligence training. It's a beautiful thing. Then what we're gonna do is we need some telephone poles. I mean, as long as it stretches. I mean, let's try to get far away as possible. We will not do that. What do you mean I can't put it over the building? Nonsense. Nonsense. We'll just put it there. Yeah. Like a, that's like a nuts. Alright, I'm saying our camp is now operational and I see some new faces there. It seems my advertising campaign has uh, was effective after all. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, let's, let's do. Ah. Uh, looks like we got... <laughs> Target practice. I mean, uh, 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 soldiers. Yeah. Make sure you check everyone's skills and traits. If they have the wrong skill or traits, they won't be effective in missions. And that's something we can't afford. Let's start with the one, that one right there. For our training program, we need someone with athletic build. Someone who's used to physical activity. I don't think that's the case here. This recruit is in great shape. I don't see much potential. Maybe we should take a look at some of the other recruits. We'll figure out what to do with this one. Which one? Okay. So you want the lady. All right. We can do that. What do we got here? Intelligence. She's very smart. Very smart. Very, very smart. A handy woman. Well, defensive knowledge. Sprinter speed improves. What we got here? Dang, son. Dang. Dang. Higher. <laughs> Soldier, get to work. <laughs> Sorry, I get excited every time a new cadet steps on the training field. I love the smell of sweat in the morning. Reminds me of the early days, except it was a lot tougher back then. Sergeant Campbell. He was one tough guy. I don't know Sergeant Campbell. Anyway, where was I? I don't know. Skills training. Yes. You see, when a recruit comes into camp as a private, they'll go and do whatever training they want unless you tell them otherwise. These young people today have no respect for anything. 100%, sir. 100%. They think they can do whatever they want. My buddy Sergeant Campbell could see them. they drive them nuts. Like I said, they're hard-headed. The only solution is for you to tell them what to do and tell them how to train. Our new recruit is on his way to the strength training build. But we're going to change our plans. Click on the soldier in the service station on the info panel. Assign an intelligence train. When the time comes, it will come in handy if we are able to specialize troops and comms operators. Yes, yes, yes. Remember that I told you skills training is the key. I heard you, sir. Yes, sir. So much talking. But of course, it is a tutorial. Yes, hey, sir. so you're going to be going from here to Watch here. Ah, nifty. Let's see if we can get any uh, a few artillery specialists and comms operators, but first they'll need to complete their training as privates. Let's focus on training more troops. It'll specialization work out later. I'll leave it in your hands. Don't let me down. Oh, we got this guy. We can, we can beef him up. Sickly. Increases the chance of getting sick or injured while training. Reject, bud. Get out of here. Go, go, go home. You too good for your home? Answer me. All right. This is looking a lot cleaner. Bot likes to see. 
Pretty nifty. We got all the peoples over here in this uh, info panel. Bonk. Oh yeah. Couple new slick backs. What do we got here? Speed, intelligence, accuracy. You're already hired. I'm surprised with uh, while the night falls. When the night falls. All right, up at the top here, we have so we have 134,000 uh, dollars. I'm just gonna call it gold dollars. Research points, population. Oh, look at all the uh, different kinds of specializations that we have. Pretty wild, man. What do we have in the bottom right? We got health. Oh, morale. Everything seems to be okay. Energy. Energy looking all right. That needs to be cleaned. Oh, it's almost nighttime. Time flies when you're busy. Is it? Your people recruits uh, included need to go to sleep at night. Rest is important. However, for this to work right, our camp will have to provide services around the clock. Obviously, we can't make them work day and night. That would be inhumane. We can assign some of our workers to work the night shift. Okay. Important. Okay. To make the best of us, our people's skills management and schedules properly. The crucial skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. It's easier than it looks. I know. I'm sure. It's just clicking on stuff. It is, it is important to find balance between these if you want to keep morale high and prevent injury. Yeah, as luckily I'm always on top of things. I've prepared a couple of standard schedules for you to use. Simply select whoever you want and choose night and or day shift. Nice. You can also customize schedules by clicking on each box separately. It's getting dark and this camp has to be going. Hire a cook and assign them to the night shift. I should have should have hired that one guy. What do you got? See, accuracy. Like this is this is the best recruit that we have. You want me to put her in the chef? Oh, experience is a cook, 25%. All right. All right. Get to work. Yes, sir. Get to work. Consider it done, boss. I mean, consider it done, boss. This seems to be a bit rough. She's tired. I get it. I get it. Oh, we got another private private. I'm going to hire you. 325 per day. This is this will get expensive. This will get very expensive very quick. Very quickly. And what we're, we're going to do here. I mean, so we got strength training over here. Oh, look, it's just a gym. Oh, this is pretty dope. Yes, sir. Here you. Strength training. My man. All right, so we got three out of seven. Only holds seven. Ah. Nifty. Good job. Our camp will be, uh, we'll have a 24-7 kitchen service. Hell yeah. Got to get that food in you. Got to get that, those, the proteins. Remember that whenever you hire or recruit someone, they will have a night and or day schedule depending on when they first set foot into camp. Time of day is given on the time bar at the bottom right of your screen. You can also speed up time if you prefer to skip the wait. You'll need to arrange our troop schedules well. Make sure uh, that you or other camp services are provided around the, around the clock. So let's get on with the lesson. The sun is going down and our cadets and workers have finished for the day. It has truly been the longest day. It's important that they get a good night's rest. You told me this numerous times. It's overdone. Hey. To keep morale up, you have to be careful not to assign too much work. Also, as you may have seen, we can construct certain buildings or other entertainment amenities to help reduce stress. Mm -hmm. How about a game at the arcade or visit to the museum? 100%. I guarantee you the troops. A museum? A museum? The world is collapsing around them. Let's not worry about too much entertainment. A bar will do. Build an entertainment building and if you like, add some street lights. Hey. Oh, nice. Our troops can't see in the dark. Mm. Yet. <laughs> Yet. All right. Let's build ourselves a bar. Entertainment building. Got to keep it away. I'm thinking we're just going to keep all of our recruits over here. You know what? We'll put this. Well, it's near like a private house too, so we can't do that. Right next to the strength training. That'll work. That'll that'll that that's not going to be deterrent at all. All right, so we'll connect that up. All right, and on top of that, we need some street lights. So, that street lights we need. Let's go. Uh, let's, let's go pretty basic here. Let's, let's start out. If I hold shift, nice. I'm holding down shift. And we can place multiples. Looking tight. Looking high and tight. All right. What do we got going on here? Oh, we got ourselves some recruits here, man. What do we got? You're a party animal, you say. Oh, are you? Got defense. Party animal loses motivation 10% faster without free time. Later. This isn't for you. Medical knowledge experience? Yes, we will hire you. All right. 
Bye, loser. I'm a party animal, and I want to be able to party. I know exactly what I'll do with you. I know exactly what I'll do with you. All right. Slow recovery. Recover 25% slow from an injury or illness. Don't get injured. Yeah. Just don't do it. So we got 95. Oh, so this generator has 95% of that capacity? Yikes. Looks like we're getting pretty close to the tippy top here. Train a soldier to get 60 yes, intelligent points. So what are we at now? Medical knowledge experience, 25%. Okay, okay. Training goal has not been met. Oh, don't, don't you worry. We'll, we'll get her up there. Whoa. You all right, ma'am? thought you were one of the best and brightest. Nonsense. Nonsense. All right, what do we got going on here, man? What you got? Handy experiences maintenance worker increases 25%. Oh. What? What you... Can we hire them as a different? Can we just move them? Be, maybe I don't know. Like a, be like, yeah. Well, you want to be a soldier? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got a, got a train. Got to protect us from from all those, all those commies that are coming down. Oh, so this is just like a lounge area. I thought this was like a bar or something like that. There's groups of workers to enjoy their free time. Yeah. Maybe too much free time over here. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing? You reading? You just, you just you gonna try and read? Are you a reader? I like to flex my mental muscle as well. Uh, what we got here? This lady's like a, this lady's like a freaking klutz. Oh, but she's 60. Level 60 intelligence. Love to see the camp in full swing. Do you? The hard training, the sun in your face, and the jo the sobs of troops begging for mercy. Ah. I love to hear the sound of recruits in the morning, crying. It reminds me of the good old days. It's time to take our training one step further. The rookies are ready for their specializations. Hmm. Okay, then we'll go from inexperienced weaklings to well-trained professionals. How excited. I don't know if you've noticed, each soldier's info panel allows you to choose which class you'd like them to specialize in and shows you what skills are required. When one of our soldiers meets the requirements, they will let you know they are ready for specialization. However, I recommend that you check how our cadets are progressing from time to time. Uh -huh. We need a comms operator. But we can't promote one until we have a comms operator specialization building. Once you have it, just go to the soldier's info panel and boom, from there, bring up the specialization tree. Yes. Okay. So, specialization trees. Here. Mm. Comms operator specialization. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. Uh huh. Quiet, you. All right, so we got to set a new goal for Cheryl. Comms operator. Specialize. Except. There's a lot of noise coming from here. Give it time. I will. As I already mentioned, we can make troops work the day or night shift, but that's not all. If you want, you can ask them to work more hours or give them some time off. This will be very useful once you've closed. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we can alter every individual schedule. Gotcha. Hmm. I need to add more. I know. Power sources. I get it. I don't want to get lazy. We need to start running missions as soon as possible. In addition to a comms operator, we need to train two artillery specialists. Get on that right away. Hey. 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 Let's get to work. What do you think I'm trying to do, man? And also, we're going to need another generator, apparently. Connect up to the grid. We're losing 750 coin per day. How does one earn money, though? Got three recruits in here. Party animal. Moron, reject. What are you? Glutton, need for food to increase 14% faster. It's a prankster who loves to play jokes. So you like jokes, huh? You're gonna be perfect. Hawkeye, accuracy improves. We'll hire you too. Two new soldiers, brother. Two new soldiers. Alright, so now we have specialization, huh? Maintenance, repair, generated noise. Ah, yeah, see, noise generated. So they can't be near anything that's too filled. The brim, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, 128, so we're okay right now on fuel. What do we have here? Yes, sir. All right, artillery. Specialized in artillery. Yes, Except, sir. do we have a building for that kind of thing? Aha, artillery specialization. Something tells me that this should not be too close to stuff. <laughs> They're going to be blowing up some freaking bombs over here. Okay. So we're going to have to go around this rock. Can I demolish this rock? Here, let's pause this. Like we get to the one... We finally kind of crushed the uh, 
Oh yeah, I can't do anything with this. So this is just this is just here. This is all here for show. Okay. So we'll pop that over here. It has no power yet. There we go. Do we have any people who will crack some skulls? Increase the chance of getting hurt while on I mean Accuracy 12. I'm not gonna make you an artillery guy. What are you nuts? What are you silly? What we got here? Jinx increases the chance of getting hurt while on the mission. Just turn around. I'm not saying that there aren't uh aren't good people that we can hire. But good lord. Uh we're gonna need another barracks as well, too. Might as well set up the block. You know what I'm saying? It's like a regular city block. We got any power going to it? We do. All right, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. So now I guess the whole point is we have to try and get two people over here. Ooh, maintenance, ammo. Oh, yeah, we got to get a, a warehouse for ammo. Ammo warehouse. 100%. And then we'll get a row ad. Bop that down in there. And we'll have to click. Let's X out of this. We click on this. And then we can buy. For 760. Only 50 bombs? What about, you know what? 60. We'll order those now. That's right. That's right, brother. We are all set and ready to go now, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What you got? Who is you? Experience as maintenance worker increases 25% fat. I'm telling you, we may have to fire somebody. We may have to fire one of our maintenance workers. She's specialization. Always scheming. Up new ways to make money. No matter how much she, uh, she already has. No how to tear, uh, tie her shoes. At least that's something. You know what? I've been rejecting a lot of people. But it's for good reason. Anybody in here screwing around? What are you? Yes, sir. You're strong. Set a goal for you. Specialize. Yes, sir. Get to gunning. Get the gun in, bro. The recruits have become fully fledged professionals. I think they're qualified to take on their first mission. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go kill somebody. I mean, uh, go take on the world. I mean, uh, wait a second. I see you haven't built a heliport yet. Yeah, man, you didn't tell me to build a heliport. I had no idea we needed a heliport to get to another country. I thought we were just marching. Heliports are essential buildings for us. They enable us to send our cadets in missions and other territories. Okay, well, then it is essential. That is your fault. You didn't tell me that. Huh, he said load. That was cool. All right. That is quite, quite loud. There we go. All right. So apparently we're going over here. We're going to murder a bunch of people over here. Looks like they're in urgent need of help in Rocky Appendix. You look to select missions on the map. You can see information on the requirements, troops we can send, and reason for the mission. Let's see. Seems the citizens of Rocky Appendix are desperate. Dragon has banned cabbage in their territory. What? I don't know. That guy doesn't sound too bad. And he's right there, too. Jerk. Cabbage is national del delicacy. Stuffed cabbage, cabbage soup, cabbage pie. I don't know what this game is all about. Cabbage. Sauerkraut. I can get I can get with that. I can get with that. They even banned Brussels sprouts. The balls. You know, the one people, <laughs> the ones people like the saute and butter so delicious. Uh, it's so harmless and cruel. These people can't live without cabbage. We will have to do something immediately. All right. Select the troops you want to send in the mission at the bottom and see the probability of victory in percent. The better trained the troops we send are, the more likely the mission will succeed. As you can see, each mission has requirements. We have to meet this one. Asks us to send one comms operator and two artillery. Hey, we just so have as we assigned two of those. We did all that. Hey. These people can't hold on for another minute longer. All right. Cabbage to the rescue, bruh. Comms operator. That, you. Alright. Alright. Forces comparison. Battle rank. Battle rank. I believe in him. Hopes and prayers. Also, it doesn't show the battle. Lame. That's okay. That's okay. We got people. We got things to do. No specialization. I'll tell you what. We'll take you. And since you already got a noggin on you. No strength training. Intelligence training. 
A copy Z, the boss. A copy Z. What do we got, Harry? An eternal optimist always looks on the bright side. Get after it there, buddy. I believe in you too. I believe in you. I believe in you. Yes, sir. Tell you what, we'll set a goal for you. Oh, he's like super smart. Oh yeah, comms operator. Specialize in that. My my man. Yes, sir. My good friend. My pal. My compadre. Mission progress in the top right. Man, I hope they don't die. Man, I hope they do not die. So when it comes to research, I guess we don't have the research window open just yet. There's the map. Aha, here's the tree. Explosive engineer specialization. I'll buy that for a hundred. Or what do we have here? Infantry. Yeah, we gotta get the infantry. We need we need the meat shields, you know? Level two is sixteen hundred and fifty. You can't zoom in on this by by the way, so you it's a little rough. A little rough on the eyes. But we got essential. Recruitment center. Increases the capacity of applicants. That's 2200. This is like all the basic stuff, but man, look at all the research points that you have to gain just to unlock these jammers. So 100 sounds good. We got 450. Keep on going down the line. Tank driver specials. Specialization. Yes. In infirmary. Yeah, we're going to need, gonna need, gonna need, <laughs> gonna need some medics. Spy surveillance. 750. A lot of stuff going on here. Accuracy training. I like it. I like it a lot. Got more recruits. We are losing. We are hemorrhaging cash. That's why we have to take over. We're going to supply. You're going to be infantry. Oh, wait. First I, have to, first, I have to build you. All right. You have to meet the class requirements in order to specialize that soldier to that class. Oh. So she's got to be that. Oh. <laughs> so she's got some ways to go. Got a little ways to go there. Take some meat shields. So we have two areas here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a bunch of things just stacking up in like little city blocks for these guys. What is this? A little bodega? Can we, uh, can we search it, my friend? My friend? All right. So I'm going to wait to see what goes on with this mission in progress. We sped up time as much as we possibly can. I want to see who made it. Anybody make it? All right. Mission she is done. Click to retrieve. Great victory squad. Go we have great success. Boom. So this is how we get gold. We we do it by invading countries. Let's go. <laughs> success. Save the cabbages. Save the world. Mission accomplished. 6,552 gold. And good to see good to see our boy our, our fine soldiers coming home. Whoa. It was a weird transition. You saved us. Thank you so much. The despicable dragon. Had us on bread and water. He took away our cabbage and made us burn our entire crops. Oh no! A lot of good cabbage has died in that horrible summer evening. Yeah. I propose that we erect a statue of our fallen cabbage, and from now on, this day shall be remembered as Cabbage Day. Um. Well, uh, it's not that idea. Yeah. We shall cook cabbage for breakfast, cabbage for lunch, and cabbage for dinner. We shall bring offerings to the cabbage god. And uh, enough. Uh, I think you are getting a bit too excited. We could do that, or maybe. Hmm. Well, maybe we, we don't have any of that. We just focus on rebuilding the city. Yeah, you should work on that. That sounds better. You sound like yourself again. I thought I had lost you. Please, Sergeant. You have to do something. Our friends from the Southern Territories have told us all of the situation is starting to get very, very bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. <laughs> Jantine Roosevelt, one of the Reagan's top three generals, rules with an iron fist. He does not mess around. You must be careful. Well done. Victory is in the hands of ours. In our hands. Yeah. Rocky Penix is now our place, but the good news is don't stop here. We've earned extra money and we can upgrade the camp. Every time we reclaim a territory, we bring in more funding for the cause. The more territories we liberate, the more economic support we have. This will allow us to upgrade our camp and train more troops. But we aren't just here to take territories back. We also have to maintain good relations with the towns in them. Each town has popularity rating that we have to monitor. This rating is too high. Uh, or if it was high enough, we gained additional funds. Take on Dragon. Nice. Okay, so troops coming from those towns will have better traits, plus we'll get special deals with suppliers there. Nice. So to improve relations with the towns, we can attend their needs and respond to their requests. Our reputation improves. So they're like vassal states. Gotcha. And here we are. We got a lot of recruits. Technology. Yes. Our enemies use state-of-the-art equipment. It is our key 
what we do to, is the same. In addition to construction, uh, constructing buildings and recruiting soldiers, we need to improve our infrastructure and research new technologies. To do this, we use research points. We earn these research points at the research lab, where our best minds are focused on studying and learning everything we can to improve our camp. Thanks to their tireless effort, we earn research points that we can redeem. I get it. I've done this before. Yes, build a research lab, tech tree. I understand. I get it. Just gonna build it there. Who can we assign? Who's some of the best and brightest? No soldiers of that type available. Why not? Oh, so we gotta assign these clowns. Who's who's a smarty heart guy? Who's the smartest person here? This guy? Get the research him, bro. Yeah. Luckily, I set aside a few research points for when you're ready. Okay, we could use them to improve our current infrastructure, but we're going to start by developing a new building. We'll start by developing an explosives engineering special. Yeah, we're going to blow some stuff off, bro. Let's go. It's clear. Can't let, can't let Dragon beat us in the science race. All right, tech tree. 100 points. I've already unlocked something else. Don't worry. We'll get there. I believe. Trust, believe, achieve. achieve. Dream you can do it. Life's a garden, baby. Dig it. Defensive knowledge. Yeah. Get to get to higher in there, bud. Cover 25 percent of slower from injury. He's weak. He's weak. He's got a bad heart. What you got? Speed, strength. You're like a little bit of, like a little bit of everything, bud, huh? Yes, sir. You got the strength training going on there? We got smart smart guy here. Got a hundred points there. Complete research on a new building. I do like how every one of the new buildings is detailed. It's not like just uh, that you go to the outside. Oh man, the research building over here is, is getting a little weird. This way you can actually go inside and see what he's doing. Just see how well he's he's getting along. I dig it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, folks, because that, I believe, is going to be our video for today. This is a pretty dope game, man. It comes out on March 2nd. I'll put the link in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out. Soldier candidates, this guy. Medical knowledge? Oh, yeah. How are you? Yes. In you go. Into the meat grinder. Very interesting idea. And we're going to start blowing some stuff up. <laughs> we're going to take over countries, everybody. And I cannot wait. But, folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps on the channel ever so much more to know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead and subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day. Live streams every week. Make sure you hit the bell notification. Be aware of all. The new content. Everyone, peace out, like, shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in one military camp next time.